Hello from Stumbles. And Fumbles. So today we're going to be building something and kind of walk you through it. There's a lot of videos of it on YouTube, but for someone like me who's not Mr. Mechanical, they never seem to show everything, so I'm going to try and show a little more than a lot of them do. And what it is, it's a solar shower for the truck. Now we have a solar shower, obviously, that we use when we're camping that works great. And we don't need it for us, but it's more for like, we don't want to run out of water when you're washing off things, um, washing off the cutting board after, uh, you know, filleting fish. You don't want to just waste your drinking water on that. Cleaning off your boots, your shoes, your gear, whatever. So we thought this would be a, a, an extra way to carry some extra water in the event of an emergency and also to just have it available to clean off stuff. Anything from you? No. All right, so stick around and we will show you how, how we get it done. Okay, so we have the solar shower for the Tacoma done. Um, you can see we used two of the four inch pieces of PVC pipe. They're both two foot long. We got them at Home Depot. They came pre-cut. That way we didn't have to buy a uh, 10 foot section and cut it down and this worked out to the size we needed anyway. Have the end cap, the faucet, and connecting it to the end cap is a uh, brass uh, ring used for uh, swamp coolers so that you can put this in and remove it real easily without having to replace your end cap. And of course we have an end cap on the other end. In the middle we have a T with a clean out adapter section in here and the cap. Um, and all these are primered and cemented together with PVC pipe. On the top added the Schrader valve which I'll show a picture of at the end of this. It's really easy to do, just drilled the hole and the hardest part was getting the correct hole size. So I just started out with a small hole and kept going a little bigger, a little bigger in increments until I got it to the correct size for the shaft to just barely fit through and give me a good seal. On this one, I had to use a uh, paddle bit to get it through to get the right size just because I didn't have a drill that was the right size but picked up a paddle bit and uh, it worked fine it would have been better if I had it in a vise to hold it down and wanted to spin out but it worked um, got the faucet like I said six foot hose and um, nozzle on there and uh, I'll uh, show you with with uh, the charged pressure and then by running it with just the air compressor on All right, so here it is with just pressure stored in the tank. And you can see it's enough to do the job. It's not super high, but it'll, uh, it'll wash off stuff. So next we'll do it with the air compressor running. All right, so now we're gonna do it with the little air compressor going. And you can see you got a lot more, a lot more pressure. If you wanted to wash off the truck tires, tailgate, whatever, um, but a lot more pressure. Um, and this holds somewhere a little under four gallons, I think, is what we figured. So enough to clean a couple people off. And then also just gravity feed if you just need to fill something up. You do have a little bit here. Um, and it's still a little pressurized. But you can see we've got a little downward angle, so you can still fill stuff up if needed. 
Okay, so we have one thing checked off our to-do list and hopefully next we'll get to work on a table for our, our cargo trailer conversion. Until next time. From Stumbles. And Fumbles. See you on the trail.